And now, uh, we see Hades here. PP Bison in hand. Beautiful weapon, uh, I must say. <laughs> so oh, myself. I, it is. And, it is a beautiful uh, weapon indeed. Uh, 53 round, he uh, it just lasers anyone and has zero recoil. Uh, so there you go, guys. This is going to look a little difficult for team number two. But if they do play smart and not give so much time for Gabru, I think they can capitalize on this. As I say, that's 75 uh, hit point coming in from Wades with that UMP, if I'm not mistaken. And the push definitely coming in. There we go. PP Bison. Hades is going to make the push. He's going to wall in. Not care about the position. The nade comes in, knocks out Samad as well as Marlboro. Hades going in for the finish. It's gonna find one. Is he gonna be able to find the second? Yes, he does find Mithumad as well. Both the bros down, one man remaining. Waze is going in for the hunt. DJ, not much he can do. Roy is chasing him with that 16 ammo, and that is gonna be the end of team number two as a uh, couple of esports make quick, quick work of it. Yep. Mad. Don't have to complain. And whilst I say that, Roy is going to be visited by some guests now. 4 we one situation if they manage to crash this in. But uh, can't Roy play around? Uh, there we go. He's going to hear the vehicles. And he's going to spray. This is what we call a peacock tactic, which is you defending your compound. He's going to start spraying at them, not let them come in. Oh. Because he is in a 1v4. So in case they do crash in, right? Oh, he's going to find a target. And oh, no, 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 no. He's going to miss. No, he's gonna miss again with that AWM. Okay, that's something I just saw. SR10 is a lucky, lucky man because Roy whiffed that. Completely. No, Roy and did whiff. Second shot, he's gonna take time. No whiffs again. He's gonna try with that scar, but I think the scar is gonna reach. SR10 with that zigzag. Oh, he's getting tagged a lot. He's Stop and heal, but I don't think SR10 cares. Oh, SR10 gets there. Knocked we down. go. Finally, he's gonna get knocked. I he, he had enough time to heal, is what I'm thinking. But nope, whips another shot. Roy is not gonna be able to capitalize on that one, and he's gonna try and make the push, which is surprising. But he does have team. Oh, there we go. He's gonna spam the first aid. Just 12 hit points left. This is why I said uh, it is going to start hurting. Meanwhile, uh, Ghostly Boy is going to find Cold Zera there. Big, big fight breaking out in the middle of the zone. Uh, oh, Roy misses the head. But he so, deals a lot of damage and Axelin gets points. taken down. <laughs> Finds the leg of Axelin under that vehicle. Axelin, as you guys know, one of the veterans of the scene. Ghostly Boy is going to find Deathrill as well. This is looking really bad. Uh, for the side of Wikirex in crew, random nade uh, getting thrown at uh, Waits because Waits is getting third partied uh, by SR10 in crew. There we go, the finish comes in towards Death Row. This is going to be one member less. Wikirex also taken down uh, India Bell. Meanwhile, uh, I think Kaiser, we did see him getting taken down. There was a bit of a fight here between Gabru and uh, Team SR10 here. And there you go. Kaiser starts off with a kill. Onto Wades, a second kill. Onto Hades. And just like that, did the entirety of Gabru just walk into a slaughter? No. Uh, you'll see him at the edge of your minimap. And yep. as. Ooh, Scorpion. Okay, Scorpion's making a big play. He's just gonna gun it in. Is that a full squad? Yes, that is a full squad. Yep. Hello? Oh, All but right. the nade is gonna be close. There's another nade is gonna be close. SR10 is gonna get taken down. Scorpion, is he gonna be able to find uh, someone with the first spray? And Indo has no clue up behind him. Oh my, my. Kaiser, let Ops rotate right in front of him. It's gonna be a little too late because Ops definitely took two members off that. Fatu is gonna get taken down in the distance from God at War, but that's just a knock. Kaiser is gonna fall, which means his. First aid is gonna get cancelled, just a single first aid left, he has to heal, but a heal is gonna give a cue, a voice cue, yep, this is gonna give them enough audio to frack OP, but the heal, he does stick the heal, Salman is not gonna spot this, Hardwell almost peaks it, not, not the peak you want to do, Hardwell, because he's got level 3. And frack OP is gonna finish him, meanwhile, Noxtock is gonna die out in the zone, that's gonna be... Goodbye, SR10. Four squads remaining. Team number one. Uh, it just uh, seemed to happen. But we're back. Five teams remaining. And Freko's going to start off by spraying in towards Sanson here. Very low HP. And he actually knocks him out. Somewhere. Yes, he, he is. 
slowly but surely making his way into the zone. He's gonna spot out Roy. Oh, oh he's gonna find down. Roy. Easy MK shots onto Roy with that 3x. And a BB is still fighting it. If he makes it to that shack. Now let's take a look at this. This is gonna be a heated battle. Parth is taken down. The rest of the team is pushing in. Parth is gonna get the res. But the nades are gonna start coming in. God at War holding a very close angle. And uh, Rachat Panwar got everyone kind of, you know, in the same shack position. Not something you want to see. Beautiful shots coming in from Axelin. Gonna find God at War, but actually it's gonna be Amit Kozer that's gonna find the finishing. Blow Deathrill now with that peril. Oh my god, Amit Kolsara is going ham. Deathrill is gonna spot part, but he's not gonna make a lot of noise and he's gonna fight Rajat Pan for one HP onto Deathrill. The push is gonna start coming in now. It's all up to Parth. Rajat Panwar is gonna get finished by Deathrill. Hydroflick stuck in the smoke. Parth gets the res onto Rajat Panwar. Not the smallest thing to do without the smoke. And I think this is a very polished IR coming in for the finish. I hear the nades. I hear the shots coming in and Deathrill is going to finish off this fight. Beautiful play coming in from IR. They lose Wiki. Okay. And uh, as we say that, big, big engagement coming in right here. Marbro, he's going to hear this for sure. Marbro, close range, going to find Frek OP. Beautiful spray coming in from Salman, but Marbro is going to find two. Hardwell comes in with a repeat. Mithumayat is gonna get tagged, but the zone is gonna start moving in as well. Ops now with that M249, not much he can do, he's gonna prone in, get that first aid, so two down already. Just Ops, still holding it, Frekopi is gonna start leading out of the zone, Marbro and Samad are gonna get taken down, beautiful spray coming in. As we say that, DJ and Mithumayat have to start moving into the zone, because phase two uh, might not hurt that much, and guess what, they're gonna take another fight here, DJ is gonna start Spraying at Meow 60k and crew, two different fights. Oh my god, Lord Matura gets taken down. DJ gets taken down as well. So that's gonna be cleanup for the side of Meow 16k. And Team Ops and Co. They're gonna ignore it. Colzer is gonna hold, and this is gonna give them free reign over the rest of the map. And as the circle pushes in, oh, Hades is gonna go in for the push. Oh, very oh, risky. For. Oh, did oh, I think he did. It's in the bike. Oh, he takes out three members from the side of SR10, leaving Kaiser the only man alive. And uh, Kaiser made it happen. Three kills with that C4. What an absolute madman. Hades that finds three of SR10 with that C4. Come on.